Innovate Designer and your host for a designer series. Today I have two fabulous designers. They're Carrie Kelly and Jill Williams of 42nd Street Design. Welcome ladies. Thanks for having Thank us. Oh, it's a pleasure. It's a pleasure. <laughs> so there's so much going around, so much energy. Well, as usual, I mean, it's what you come to expect. High point. It's high point, <laughs> right? Yeah. So um, you're here now. So what is it that you're looking to see or hoping to see while you're here? I think we want to see the latest and the greatest and sure. bring a little bit of high point home to our design studio, not only for our designers, but for our clients. That's right. That's right. We always enjoy the inspiration we find here with new products and seeing old friends and meeting new ones. And that's a common thing that we hear is just being able to see old friends make new friends. And I like to think that your perspective of high point is twofold in the sense because you're here also as interior designers as well as product designers, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So how do you manage, you know, those two lenses as you're kind of touring showrooms and just thinking about uh, maybe what things you want to take back to the studio or uh, products for the future, that type of thing? A lot of times we're shopping for specific projects, okay. so that kind of gets the ball rolling. Yes. And then as we tour through, we see the trends and things that we know will come and go, yes. and then other elements that are classics that we want to have in our library, right. share with our team, and share with our folks back in California. Right. Uh, we always enjoy seeing beautiful artwork, like yeah. we have here with, with Carol's artwork, right. and um, it's nice to imagine how it would pair with 42nd Street Furniture, where we can customize the uh, color palette to, um, to complement one of the pieces. Exactly. Yeah. Like one that. For yeah. sure. yes. And so the other, um, I was having a, another conversation with another designer prior yeah. to you arriving, and we talked about how wonderful it is to see product designers answering the call of uh, consumers or what they may hear from other designers and just basically implementing their feedback into the design. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so I'm sure you all do the same thing um, as you're designing case goods and products and uh, oh, hardware. I want to also mm -hmm. make sure we talk about that as well. But to uh, get back to my original question, sorry. So what things that you've seen um, in your day-to-day -day or you hear from consumers about what they want out of a case good or a coffee table? Or, mm -hmm. I think gone are the days of opening up a magazine and having a client say, I want that because that's typically someone else's space. We can be sure. inspired by that. Sure. But what we've been able to do at 42nd Street and the artwork that we see here today is really uh, address that call to customization. There we go. Yes. So how do we make that specific to you? Mm -hmm. What color is that? What finishes? Right. Uh, how are we tweaking sizing potentially? And it's coming back to being a designer versus ordering something off of Amazon that everyone right. else has, right. you know, right. and creating the value as a designer. Mm -hmm. and providing pieces that are timeless, but have some flair at the same time, sure. and can be passed down by generations. And I think High Point has that traditional element of um, quality pieces, and um, 42nd Street for us is quality, but right. versatile enough to have that design flair as well. So what are your favorite ways, Jill? Yeah. <laughs> so Jill, what are your favorite ways of um, adding flair to a timeless or a classic piece? Well, I think we can add flair with great color uh, and hardware, as you were mentioning earlier. Um, so much personality can be um, injected into design with just a great pull right. um, and a beautiful color palette. Because, I mean, those just two things, the color and the hardware, can really change the complete personality of the same piece. Totally. Right? Totally. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And to answer your question earlier, too, sure. it seems like we um, also are able to help people fall in love with something that maybe they didn't realize they knew they wanted, right. you know, mm -hmm. and we find that over and over again with um, the Mary Lou piece. Mm -hmm. um, people just are so excited to see that they can have their jewelry or their ties, whatever displayed. In fact, we even recently placed it in um, a, a living room area, yeah. and it'll be used more as a buffet. Right. So um, it's just fun when people realize that a piece can be fully customized to them, sure. and then um, help them in areas that they never that um, they right. needed. Yeah. yeah, it's kind of along the lines, too, of helping um, clients reimagine the floor plan. Mm -hmm. You know, it's there to give you an idea of how a space could be used, yeah. but the dining room really doesn't have to be the dining room. Mm -hmm. 
totally. That could be a study, right? Yeah, yes. we've talked about so many times, whether it's a piece of furniture or a room, mm -hmm. just repurposing that right. and spinning it in a right. way, just because it has that title, doesn't mm -hmm. mean that Dining Room Hutch can't become, like you're mm -hmm. saying, a library bookcase with exactly. books and your favorite elements on display. Sure. It's really about telling that family story or the people who live there and their story and the function of it, and that's the charm right. that comes from design and what we get to do every day. Yeah, exactly, yeah. and I know you all follow trends closely, mm -hmm. just kind of watching um, how the market is changing. So compare it to last market, are you seeing some of the same things or more of the same, but in different applications? Or just kind of what are you seeing so far? Well, <laughs> we, we haven't been around sure. um, to a lot of showrooms so far, but I would say we've seen some great artwork. And yeah, really, definitely. this is just a perfect example. Mm -hmm. And that is always an inspiration for us. Right, yeah. and then the piece of um, art with the um, it's uh, translated to lamps. Uh -huh. You saw the canvas. Yep. With the, um, yeah, so that was really beautiful. And then, of course, the cabinet and the, the coffee And what we're table. sitting on right now. What we're sitting on now. Yeah. The perfect example of that and just reimagining something that's traditionally thought of on drapery. Yeah. You know, or, no, excuse me, a uh, canvas, but mm -hmm. to actually put it on yeah. a piece of upholstery. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or in wall decor. Yeah, I think that's fantastic. So, I know for me, my, one of my favorite colors is pink. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, so have you seen your favorite color? But do you even have a favorite color? My favorite's navy. Navy. And so oh, we, yeah, you're yeah, saying navy. Yeah, sure. we call it color of the decade. And whether that's coming through denim or right. linen or even wall color, I know we um, have been where 42nd Street is situated. Um, the pieces that we have, part of that showroom is covered in navy blue walls. Yeah. And so to classic. create that contrast, but again, that timeless classic feel is fantastic. Um, there's a, a bit of trend that can be played in that, but then the classic, you know, in its roots. Um, right. And I like in. the fact that it's um, flexible. It could be very masculine yeah. or it could be feminine. Totally. Something that, you know, appeals to most people, mm -hmm. right? And it's not as harsh as black, you know yeah. what I mean? Absolutely. Although I will put on a full black outfit. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. Yeah. So are you a navy lover? Too? I do love navy. Okay. Um, and I would also say I'm a big fan of the color palette we're sitting on here. Oh, um, yeah. Napa neutrals, um, beautiful tone on tones. Um, that is always an inspiration for me. Mm -hmm. Right, okay, so I know there's so many ways that you all are probably similar and have similar aesthetics, but uh, which of you are the risk taker in design? <laughs> yeah. I think we're inspired by travel and a lot of the places that we yeah. go, and so um, I would say that Jill that puts a lot of risk into our design. I might be more risky with the business, and she's probably more risky <laughs> with the design. Okay, yeah. Um, I don't know, what do you think? I would say you answered that well. <laughs> I'm really, I, we, well, we met at Ralph Lauren and we yeah. had just had, we had such the same aesthetic. Mm -hmm. And I would say um, I may love contemporary mm -hmm. art in a way that, um, that maybe, um, and you do too. You incorporated yeah. that in your designs too. So I don't know. We are okay. very similar. All right, well, let's, let's change gears a little bit personality wise. Choose the patient one. Okay. All right. <laughs> I do the loop through. Okay, let's do it. We're out of here. And she's like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. She's like, oh, whoa, I haven't gotten to yeah. the side yet. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think our team appreciates that, though, too. It's right. not like having parents. We've just been around a long mm -hmm. time. Sure. So we've worked yes. together for 22 years. Yeah. But you have the one that's right. going to bulldoze and the, or the one that will sit and listen and go through it. And right. That right. sort of thing. Um, and I would say that you have a great sense of humor. You're oh, always making well. our clients laugh <laughs> and making them feel comfortable. And um, all of the gals that work with us, too. Yeah. Oh, that's a good great. Time. Yeah, that's, that's a wonderful quality. Yes, sure. it is. Okay, yeah. so let's see. Last question. Okay. Okay. So which one of you is the maximalist? Which one of you is a minimalist? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, in our personal homes, I would mm -hmm. say you're more of a maximalist, mm -hmm. um, and you do it in such a beautiful way. Um, and I would say partly because of who I'm married to, yep. I'm more of a minimalist. Yep. Okay. Okay. And um, and that works for me too. I could go either way, and I love it all. Yep. Well, your dress is beautiful. It's nothing minimal about it. Yeah. Thank you. So, so we, I, yeah, there's a bit of yin yeah. and yang about yeah. all of it. Sure. I love everything having its place, but yeah. that Ralph Lauren aesthetic, where the bookcases yeah. are curated and that sure. sort of thing. Yeah. That's um, how I live. Yes. So it's interesting. Our, our clothes do a little bit of a flip flop. Yes. Right. Because I love to listen to the narrative, but then also to see mm -hmm. for myself. You know, I wouldn't mm -hmm. imagine your home to be a minimalist. 
type of setting. Yes, it is. You know what I mean? Yes. But you've got this beautiful floral dress mm -hmm. on, and you, know, you follow what I mean? Yes, mm -hmm. I do. And then I also know that there's an intersection between fashion and interior design. Yes. But it's great that you get to live out, you know, your real, mm -hmm. your maximalist uh, quality <laughs> goodness. <laughs> yeah. <in your> clothing. <laughs> yeah. You can keep the home nice and quiet and organized mm -hmm. and tidy there. Yes. Thank you so much. Thanks for ladies, having us. Thank you. For joining us for the designer series. It's always fun uh, to do that in you know professional and personal settings. Mm -hmm. We can handle the personal later. Yeah. Later. Sounds, Sounds good. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>